Hello everyone. Earlier today I was trying to get a voice to text uh, system working in Rails and as some of you are probably aware, anytime you want to use the speech recognition it wants a SSL certificate. Now this is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, personally I don't care if anyone hears me changing my Qdoba order but whatever, they want it to be secure. So the least we could do is do some uh, security theater to uh, make the browser think it's it's all up to code. The way we're gonna do this is by generating a fake uh, certificate or a local certificate, and we're just gonna pretend uh, that that's the same thing as having an actual SSL certificate set up, and we can go from there. The way we're gonna do this is we'll, uh, let me make sure there's nothing in here. There is, let me rm-rf this video. Because again, this is in the same project I was working on the speech recognition in, oops. Uh, we'll do a Rails new video, and then we'll CD into the video project, and then we can run a code dot to open this up in VS Code. The way we're gonna be doing this is we're going to take two approaches. The first, well, I guess both of them will uh, involve us generating a uh, local key and a local uh, certificate. We will then uh, run a command in the terminal, and then I'll show you how we can set it up a bit more cleverly Probably not in the uh, most official way, uh, but I really don't care about doing things the official way. So uh, if you want that, you can probably go somewhere else. Uh, the way we're gonna do this one is we're gonna start by generating a quick little demo app. We'll do a Rails G scaffold post, give each post a title and a body of type text. You can then do a Rails DB colon migrate command to migrate the database. After we do that, we can come over here to our config and our routes.rb and we can do a root to the post controller index action and then hit control plus a couple times to make sure you can read this. We'll then run a Rails S over to uh, localhost port 3000 and hopefully this will work. It's telling me that I'm trying to go to HTTPS but I'm not. So let me get rid of the prefix here and just go straight to localhost port 3000. Hopefully this will work. Uh, if I hit enter a couple times, let uh, Edge catch up to itself. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that, let's uh, let's see what we can do. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do here is make sure that we can uh, generate the certificate. So to check if you can, just make sure you have uh, open SSL installed. In my case I do, I can hit control C to exit out of there. If you don't, and you're on like, I don't know, Linux, uh, Ubuntu or whatever, you can just do a sudo apt install, and you wanna install open SSL. Type in your password and you're good to go. If you're on Windows, I don't know, good, good luck. Uh, and yeah, from here we can just use OpenSSL to generate this cert. The way we're gonna do this is with a OpenSSL command that takes three years to write. We'll do an OpenSSL rec space dash x509 space dash SHA256 space dash nodes space dash new key space RSA colon 2048 space dash key out space localhost dot key space dash out not to be confused with key out because uh, this is for our cert so it'll be localhost dot crt space uh, dash subj is going to be a slash cn equals localhost space and then dash days is 365 days is how long we want this to be a thing Okay, cool, I got that right on the first try. We can now come over to our project repo and we can see we have the localhost CRT and the localhost key in here. We can then come into, I don't know, our config, right click new file, call it SSL. And we'll just put both of these inside of this SSL folder, not because it's like the best practice, but just because it's something that we can you know work with. Again, we're doing this for development reasons, so chances are it really doesn't matter how you set this up. Uh, just don't put anything in here that you don't want the world to see if you're gonna put it in like your, your GitHub repo or whatever. So now that we have this, we could in theory just be done here. The reason why I don't like stopping here is because it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's, it's not gonna be too pretty. Basically, every time you run this command, you're gonna have a Rails S uh, where you have to do a dash B, and then you're gonna do a SSL colon slash slash localhost port 3000 uh, question mark, and then we pass in some params. So the key is equal to config slash SSL slash localhost dot key, and the cert is equal to config slash SSL slash localhost dot CRT, because that's what we named it earlier. And then we can do a Rails S, uh, oops, not a Rails S, we already have that 
right there. We can then run this. This will tell us it's listening on these two right here. And we can come over to our web browser, go to, what was this, port 3000. So we can say, all right, I want to come over to localhost port 3000 with the HTTPS right here. And hopefully this will take us somewhere. So it takes us here, it tells us our connection is in private, but that's okay. We can click advanced, click continue to localhost on safe. And now we have a SSL uh, connection enabled. Now, uh, the reason why I don't like this, of course, is every time you want to type this, you have to do something like this. What you could optionally do is just, uh, I don't know, let's backspace all of this and or just hit control C. We can do a touch for a, I don't know, server.ssh. And then we can do a, I don't know, a nano into the server.sh. You can paste this in, the entire command, hit control O, enter, control X, and then you can do a dot slash server.sh if you want to. Of course, we have to do a sudo chmod 777 for the server.sh. And now we can do a dot slash uh, server sh right there. And that'll run it just fine. It should still work. We can come over to localhost port 3000 with our HTTPS and that'll work. Uh, but then you have to remember to run a dot slash server command every time you want to do this. So a quick little hack you can do is you can come into your Puma file, and I know this is where everyone's gonna start screaming at me, uh, but you can come into your P Puma file and we can just say uh, SSL underscore bind, you can do this wherever, bind it to 0, .0, 0, .0, 0.0.0.0, comma, uh, and you can do localhost 3000 if you want to, I don't care. Uh, and then in here, we can tell it where the key is located, which is going to be in, oops, in env.fetch for a uh, SSL key path, and then you can grab the config SSL localhost key. And you can do the same thing for the cert. And now what you can do is you can just run a Rails S and you'll see that you'll get an error here where it tells you it's already running on uh, this, this address. Oh, I just realized uh, we need to change this one to 3001. We can then do a Rails S command over here. So we'll start the server and you can see it's listening on localhost port 3000, but it's also listening on localhost port 3001 with those parameters. So now we can come over here, instead of going to localhost port 3000 for the HTTPS server, we go to 3001, uh, but we still have our uh, 3000 uh, accessible like this. So this is like our regular thing nobody cares about. And then if we need to mess around with something that requires the HTTPS connection, we can do that right here. Uh, and it's a lot easier to sort of manage it like this, at least in my head, as opposed to, uh, you know, doing all of the, uh, the commands and stuff. That said, of course, it's really not ideal to uh, just be throwing something like this up. Uh, make sure you're not just throwing up random stuff like this into your production servers. Probably do a little bit better. Thankf thankfully, with a production server, you can uh, avoid a lot of this headache by just having an actual certificate that you're going to bind to. Uh, but in our case, this seems to be fine. And then, of course, if you want to uh, force your your SSL or whatever in your development environment, if you want to, uh, you're free to do that as well. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.